Hello beautiful beings. So I am going to talk about exactly what it says in the title. So spirit guides. Now spirit guides. My god, I'm still on a journey with them. And just came and said hello right now okay so my journey with spirit guides let me first explain to you what they are in case you're a bit confused so spirit guides are guides that I believe are either with you from when you're born which is usually just generally the case from the moment you come into this world or even from past lifetimes maybe they've journeyed with you they've come through to this world with you or maybe you meet them along the way at certain stages of your life um, you yeah you meet them and spirit guides can be in all forms they can be angels um, archangels beings of light they could be star seeds they could be animals um, birds insects um, maybe something I'm not even mentioning maybe even mythical creatures like unicorns or dragons um, it's very vast and their being is um, yeah very authentic to you um, they're just authentic in general, <laughs> very, very beautiful, um, all strange looking, <laughs> but um, because of, which I'll get into another video, but I was raised in quite a strict Christian home, so the title Spirit Guides, when I first heard it, freaked me out, I was like, no, that is weird, like, stay away from that <laughs> um, but you know they come through into your life at times where you need when it's when it's meant to happen they'll come through at certain times of your life and sometimes it's very clear sometimes it's very vague but when I first started hearing about them and when I was actually at a stage in my life where I was open to it I was desperate to meet them like desperate I just really wanted to understand like their personality what they looked like I wanted to have a conversation with them I wanted to truly understand and dive into the spirit guide world and I remember simply meditating and, and saying out loud that I wanted to, to meet them and um, whoever's ready to come through but it was coming from a place of me trying like this I was like trying to squeeze it out and I think it just wasn't a time where the information where they would come through it was I, I got glimpses of of a particular guy that um, has made itself more known to me now but I was in, I wasn't in the right mental space um, as well it was just yeah it wasn't flowing then and when I would go to Reiki which is energy healing um, that also opened my world up to spirit guides because my spirit because my Reiki healer she um, she would say you know this angel was here or, or this um, or she would, she would describe what kind of um, beings would come through when she would um, work on me. And it wasn't necessarily um, like a spirit guide showing itself to me, like this is who I am. It was, I was just like aware, okay, so like this is what's around me at this time. And I don't know if those beings that were coming through at the time were just for me in that moment, which I think was the case, which is generally the case. Um, yeah, so I just wanted to mention that as well. Reiki really helped me understand it 
also because my Reiki healer was um, quite aware of and she worked directly with her guides and um, then what happened then I just I started to let go I started to just surrender to the process of it all and one day my mum actually shared with me that she had done a guided meditation to meet the spirit guides and um, I decided I was going to do it and I was quite nervous because I had done similar things in the past but because I wasn't in the right mental space and it just wasn't the time no clarity had come through in the past so I was a bit apprehensive about doing this meditation again I was like yeah let's see what happens um, and I'm not <laughs> These spirit guides to me are also very personal. Like I, I don't think I would share them all with you because the ones that I am aware of because they're so they mean so much to me and it doesn't feel right to, to share them with all of you. But there is one particular guide who I feel comfortable to share with it, and that is um, the goddess Inanna has come through for me very strongly. Um, and who actually came through for me in that meditation and I thought I was going crazy <laughs> but she came through very strongly she told me her name in the meditation I was like okay I'm clearly making this name up at the time I was, I was like my brain's doing funny things and there's no truth coming through here but when I googled Inanna and Ishtar which she also told me her name is Ishtar I realized that it was actually a Mesopotamian goddess and um, she has come through for me in so many profound ways that it's absolutely mind-boggling to me um, but she really wants to work with me and she, she wants to be with me and I actually call upon her when I hold space and um, yeah, whenever I feel like I need her wisdom sometimes when I'm not aware that I need her wisdom she'll come through for me and with spirit guides, you, you really get to, the longer you get to know them, um, you get to know how to feel them or how to hear them. Um, you'll, maybe they'll, they'll make themselves known through an end, like a feeling, where you know that they're here because you're feeling a particular feeling. Or maybe it would be like a color that you'll see or a particular animal or um, yeah maybe it's something you hear you know we all we all are um, attuned our senses are so intuitive and so divine and I think some people are more clairaudient or clairvoyant or you know depends on where your um, strength lies in how you pick up those things that aren't necessarily like physical that you can hold. I don't know if that makes any sense. I'm still learning it all myself and it's just the beginning of my journey with Inanna but I'm so grateful to, to work with her and to, to get to know her and my dream of wanting to understand my spirit guide and see my spirit guide, one of my spirit guides, came through so strongly and so if you're wanting to connect to your spirit guides or wanting to understand what they look like and how they feel and what they want to say to you, I would definitely recommend just trusting that whenever they want to come through, they will come through. And then when they're ready to make themselves clear to you, they will make themselves clear to you. And it would be synchronicities and it would be like a repetition of, hello. <laughs> and you've just got to be in a space to be aware of those messages coming through to you because they always are and even if they time your little messages maybe I'll make another video one day about my journey with Inanna because it it still gives me endless goosebumps um, to with how she came to me so that uh, that is my journey with spirit guides so far I'd say another three or so have made themselves known to me but not as clear as Inanna um, but I, I know that 
maybe if you have, have um, a vast sp space of how you work, where um, you do different types of work, sometimes there'll be a guide for each work that you do, so you can call upon them and, and hear or just notice what, they, what wisdom they have to bring in that time. I have a specific guide that helps me when I do oracle card readings or tarot card readings. Um, it's all such an exciting journey and um, I hope this video has helped you in some way and I'm just so excited for your journey and um, maybe you've met your guides already or maybe this is helping you think of some, some being that's been trying to connect with you and always put it out there when you're wanting to connect with them. Say, I am open to meeting my guides of the highest truth and compassion. Because when you put it out there, you are deciding um, and, and you're choosing what kind of energy to allow in because you have the autonomy, you have the power. Um, so just remember that. You don't want to just say that I'm open to any kind of guide possible because, you know, there's so many out there and sometimes, I mean, you're going to want the ones with the highest truth and compassion, obviously. So that is my spirit guide video and let me know if you've met one or if this has sparked something in you, I'd love to know. I'm just so excited that I get to share this information with you. Um, so much love. I'm Rachel. <laughs>